Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the east side of Kauai. This is, I guess you'd call it a part two of a four-part series. I'm discussing the different areas of Kauai. Kauai can be broken down into four parts, the north, the east, the south, and the west. And so today I am going to be covering the east side because I've already covered the north side. Let's get to it. The east side of Kauai, also known as the Coconut Coast, houses the most people out of the island. So about 16,000 out of the 70,000 that live on island. The east side is comprised of Anahola, Wailua, Kapa'a, Lihui, and Nawiliwili. It's my favorite name to say on the island, Nawiliwili. There are tons of things to do on the east side. You can kayak the Wailua River or visit the falls. You can hike the famous sleeping giant trail. You can also go visit the Fern Grotto and visit some of the most beautiful beaches like Lydgate Beach. The east side is the second most popular part of the island and though it rains less than the north shore when you're on the coast, the more inland you go, the more rain you will get, about 60 inches of rain per year or more. Some of the big pros about living on the east side is that you can find affordable rent or housing and also your century located to everything that you would need from grocery stores to car dealerships to the hospital. Everything is all located mainly on the east side. There is Kapa'a Elementary, Middle School and High School for residents between Anahola and Wailua. Then there is also an elementary school for residents mainly in the Wailua Homestead area. And then there's Wilcox Elementary mainly for people in the Lahui area. There's also Kamakahele Middle School and Kauai High School for residents right below Wailua Town all the way to the South Shore. There are quite a few private schools as well in the area. The more popular ones are St. Catharines, which is in Kapa'a, and that offers pre-K through eighth grade. And then there is Island School, which is also very popular, and that is in the Lahui area, and that offers pre-K through 12th. Now let's go specifically more into the towns and we'll discuss for each town, like I did in my North Shore video, about the average two bedroom rental and also the median sales price and list price of homes in each area. First stop, Wailua. Really cool little town. It's a very popular tourist destination, so there's quite a bit to do in the area. There is the Wailua River, which you can kayak, and the Wailua Falls. There's the Sleeping Giant hiking trail over there, great beaches, great shopping, great restaurants, so lots to do in the area. I especially love the homes actually located in the Wailua homesteads, so if I were searching, I would definitely take a look in that area. It's really beautiful. Average two-bedroom rental is $2,000. Median list price in the area was $313,000, and the median sale price was $785,000. Cheapest property you can find in Wailua right now is $219,000, and that's for a studio with one bath. If you're looking for something a little bit bigger than a studio or one bedroom because you're a family, the next cheapest is going to be a three-bedroom, 1.75 bath, and that is for $499,000. Next town up is Kapa'a. I actually really love Kapa'a town. It's a super, super charming town. You can almost find anything there. You can find, you know, fine art. You can find antique stores. You can find uh, rentals for water sports, whether you want to water ski or kayak. So there's really a lot to do in the area. There's also great restaurants and great shopping. Kapa'a offers great hiking, great waterfalls, great beaches. And now that I'm doing these videos, I'm starting to realize maybe all the parts of Kauai have those three things, beaches, hiking, and waterfalls, but it just is to add to the list of things to do in the town. What's great about Kapa'a is that you're nice and centrally located and it's still really charming and you don't really feel like it, you're in a city so much per se. Kind of, Luhui is the next town we're going to be talking about and that's definitely more of that city feel, but Kapa'a is still charming, still has affordable housing, affordable rents, and you're nice and centrally located to so many things. You can make a quick day trip to the north or the south, and you have all the schools in the area. So, and you don't, it's not so much hustle and bustle and commercial feeling like Lahui. So 
Pa'a is a really, really cute area. Average two bedroom is 1800. Median list price was 649,000 and the median sales price was 520,000. Cheapest property you can find right now is 358,000 and that's for a two bedroom, one bath. Last town on our list is Lahui. Lahui is the commercial center of Kauai. So this is where you're gonna find Costco, car dealerships, Walmart, the airport, the hospital, Nwili Willy port, which is our sh main shipping port. So everything is kind of, that. that's the commercial hub of the island. But it is a popular area to live because obviously it is nice and centrally located. There's a lot of jobs in the area. There are the schools in the area. And you can also find really affordable rentals and houses in the area. Lahui is also a very historic town. We have the historic plantation estates over there. We have the Kauai Museum. We also have a thousand year old Aqua Center Reservoir located in the area. There are also a lot of things to do in the area. You have the golf courses, you have Kalapaki Beach, and there's actually options to do things indoors in the area like bowling, the mall, the museums, and more. Average two bedroom rent in the area is 1,800. Median list price in the area is 389,000. Median sales price was 415,000. Cheapest listing right now in the area is 114,000. That's for a studio and one bedroom. Again, if a studio or one bedroom doesn't work for you, the next cheapest listing is a two bed, one and a half bath for 285. Thanks for tuning into this video, guys. The next part of this four part series would be part three, which will be all about the South side. If you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you want to be notified of my other videos about Kauai, real estate, hosting and investing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.